Hey guys, we're Carmen and Shane Fleiss with Beyond the Door Realty, where we make real estate fun. So we're on location today at an amazing side-by-side -side duplex in McFarland. This place has everything. It has house hacking. It has homesteading. It has upcycling. This house has a story all its own. It's a perfect owner-occupied duplex. So welcome to the owner's unit of this side-by-side -side duplex. We're standing at the front door in the living room area. Some things we want you to notice about this house. It is a three bedroom, one and a half bath with amazing great room. The other thing we really want you to pay attention as you walk through this house is the detail. There the is And the character. Everything in this house has been touched basically by a master craftsman and you're going to notice it throughout. Most people kind of have a story and the house is the setting of the story. This house has its own story and we're going to tell you about it. So as some of you may know, in 1993, McFarland was hit by a tornado and the neighborhood this house is on is actually the neighborhood that was hit by that tornado. This house was spared for the most part by the tornado, but what was damaged was repaired by that same master craftsman. So after the tornado, the owner actually decided to put on a huge addition, which you'll see in just a minute here. It's actually 19 feet by 21 feet, and it's two stories, where there's a shop at the lower level and actually a nice great room um, on this level. Just an amazing great room. And overall, there's actually over 2,000 square feet in this unit. The other thing you're gonna notice is the outside, how there's a chicken coop. If you're into homesteading or you're starting to homestead, this is the perfect, Place for that so this house has everything it has a story it has things that have been upcycled it has homesteading it has house hacking because you have rents from the place next door so this house has it all hey guys so we made our way down to the master bedroom okay and like everything else pretty much in this unit of this house there is so this this so much character has so much character and there's so many things to tell about the story of this house so um, the first thing to notice is all the trim and doors were custom made for this space by a master craftsman. There's also Italian tile on the floor to make it look like wood floor. Um, you may or may not have noticed the railing on the stairs on your way down. It was actually recycled from a deck. So again, this house has so many things that are upcycled, so many things that have character and things that you're not going to see anywhere else. Also in this master, you're gonna notice the size. It's absolutely enormous. The lighting, it has great windows. And the best part, I think, about this master bedroom is the closet. <laughs> so we're gonna take you there now. Okay. All right, da 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 da. Check out this closet. There's plenty of room for all of your stuff in this closet and then some. The next place we're going to take you is currently used as a wood shop, but you could use it as any number of things from an art studio to a yoga studio to honestly just keep it as a wood shop because it's perfect for that. Okay, so this space is absolutely huge. You'll notice as you walk in, it's 21 feet by 19 feet and it has access to the outside. So whatever it is you're planning to do with this space, you have easy access in and out. So guys, we're standing in this custom built kitchen and it was remodeled to look like an old ice box. So again, it just adds to the story and the character of this home. Some things you're gonna to wanna to notice as you're in this kitchen is all of these cabinets were custom built by a guy in Columbus. This countertop was actually made, upcycled again, from a tree that was taken down in Madison and turned into this really amazing butcher block countertop. There's some other things in this kitchen you're gonna to wanna to make sure you see. The chef stove over here. There's a chalkboard over here that, that is up against the pantry that came out of an old schoolhouse that was in Madison too. So it just adds to the story and the character of this house. Take a peek into that pantry and see just how much space is in there for all your stuff. Okay guys, so behind me you'll see the amazing dining room that was rebuilt right after the tornado. You're gonna first notice the walls and that the white pine on those walls actually came from a, the roof and the walls of a house in Cambridge. The next thing you're gonna notice is these floors. The wood from these floors was actually salvaged from the wreckage after the, the tornado went through. And the lights you're gonna notice, those also came from a house that was in Columbus. Okay guys, now we're in the main bathroom, which is on the second floor. You're also gonna find two bedrooms up here, but let's talk about this 
bathroom because it goes along with the story of this house. So this bathroom was actually designed to look like an old schoolhouse. The medicine cabinet hanging on the wall was actually salvaged from a 1930s house in Monona. The wainscoting on the walls was actually custom built by the master craftsman who owns the house. It came from the same exact wood as that 150 year old barn wood that's out in the great room. And the maple flooring under your feet came from a hundred year old building in Columbus. It's just one more chapter of the story of this house and all the areas that they made custom touches and upcycled all along the way. Hey guys, welcome to the amazing great room edition. So this great room actually should be the poster child for upcycling. <laughs> it is absolutely stunning and almost all the finishes in this room have been upcycled and it's just absolutely beautiful. The first thing you're going to notice are the beams on the ceiling and the wood on the walls. All of that wood came from a barn in Black River Falls. So the next thing you're going to notice are these amazing tongue and groove pine floors that came from a barn in Elkhorn, Wisconsin. And I'm sure you noticed this amazing soapstone wood burning fireplace behind us. The bricks underneath that wood burning stove came from the chimney in a carriage house that was just up the road. This unit was almost 1300 square feet. Right now we're standing in the living room. So this unit has three bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms. There's a main level living room. Uh, upstairs are the bathroom, or is the bathroom and two bedrooms. There's also um, downstairs of the family room and another bedroom, laundry room in the middle with access to the garage. We're gonna give you a quick tour of the house. Also, just so you know, um, this house, this unit right now is vacant and that was purposeful by the owners. They chose to keep it vacant because they knew they were gonna be moving and they didn't wanna add to the stress of their move because their, their long-term tenants just moved out recently. They actually had it on the market listed for $17.50 a month, and within two days of having it um, listed, they had five showings set up. Um, so we know they're in the ballpark. This one, this unit should rent for around $17, $17.50 a month based on those numbers. So why don't we um, kind of scan around? We're gonna show you the main floor living area with the, like I said, the living room, the dining room, and the kitchen that was updated in about 10 years ago. So I'm standing in the main living room here at the front door. I'm gonna walk this way. We're gonna show you the dining room real quick and into the kitchen that's been updated about 10 years ago. All right, from here, we're gonna go downstairs. We're gonna show you the family room and then we'll head upstairs and we'll show you the completely remodeled bathroom and the master bedroom. So we're coming downstairs into the family room and we're going to walk around the corner. You're going to see how far it goes out to access to the backyard through the patio door. And then the bedroom will be on the left hand side. So from here, we're going to take you upstairs and we're going to show you the completely remodeled bathroom and we'll also show you the master bedroom. Okay, so we're in the second story now. We have two bedrooms up here and the main bathroom, which has just recently in this year been remodeled. You'll see all the tile, the cabinetry, the walls, everything is brand new. It's got a huge soaker tub in there with a tile surround. Now we're gonna take you into the master bedroom and show you the massive amount of closet space in there. Okay, so we've made our way to the master bedroom. We have a closet over here and a closet over here. There's plenty of room in here for all of your stuff or all of your tenant stuff, which will be a huge asset to you. Guys, it's raining outside. So the one thing we would love to show you is the outside, but we're not gonna go outside in the rain. <laughs> But we did talk about how awesome this house is if you're interested in homesteading. Hopefully it's not raining while you're here and you can check out the awesome garden outside, the chicken coop in back. Also the chickens are included if you want. If you want the chickens, yep, they, you can, they can be yours. And check out that amazing hot tub. It's only three years old and it is just awesome. Again guys, this house has it all. It has a story, it has income, it has an amazing place to live. If you're interested in more information, reach out to us. You can call or text at 608-352-0440. Again, we're Carmen and Shane Feist, and we like to say that almost anybody can <laughs> become a realtor, and almost any of those real estate agents can help you buy and sell homes. But nobody makes buying and selling homes more fun than Carmen and Shane.